Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss, and today we're going to talk about this box right here. This is a special box I got a couple months ago that is by Faber-Castell, and it's called the Art and Graphic Try It Box. That's a tongue twister. Art and Graphic Try It Box. <laughs> so this was, I think I was on Facebook or Instagram, I can't remember just kind of looking around at my family's posts and this came up as a try it for free um, just pay for shipping and we'll send you a little box with a whole bunch of different fabric castell products in it hmm. so I did it I pulled the trigger ordered it out paid the little bit of shipping it wasn't that much money and here we have this box I've peeked in it once and then um, I put it away because I wanted to wait for a video for us to look at it together. So let's look at what they think we want to get from them at Faber-Castell. Interesting, huh? Yeah. What do you think is going to be in it, Steve? Comment below before we get started. Do you have any guesses of what Faber-Castell would want us to try? Well, where it's gray, it automatic automatically makes you think graphite or charcoal or something. Okay. Anything else you want to guess? Nope. Okay, let's open it up and see what we got. You're so cute. Yeah, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> all right. Now, just a minute, Jennifer. I have a really exciting giveaway to tell you all about. $145 worth of prizes for one of you. All right, I piqued Steve's curiosity. Steve's my husband and business partner, and he's come over to see what we got inside this box. So we'll open it up. Whoa, paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. Oh. Look at all this interesting stuff. Wow. I'd forgotten. Like I said, I opened it once to make sure everything came in one piece, and then I closed it right back up. So I haven't taken it out or anything. So first off, that caught my eye is this guy right here, a wonderful, beautiful polychromos, and we got it in the color cobalt blue, one of Steve's favorite nice. colors. Right next to it, we have its brother pencil, the Albrecht Durers. We know these two lines of pencils very well here at Coloring Bliss. In fact, we have an entire color picking system built around these pencils. Yeah. So if you would like to learn more about how to use, if you own the Polychromos or the Albrecht Durers, or you think you might purchase them, then you're going to want those books. The Albrecht Durer pencil is a water-soluble, watercolor, highly highly light fast pencil line and it's my favorite watercolor pencil line so to have an extra one of these I'm very pleased with that and it's also in cobalt blue nice. they must have known you were going to be here Steve. Right. okay let's check this these two out right here look it's very similar we have two pit pens the uh, Faber-Castell Pit Pen is a very unique product it is um, India ink it's not um, alcohol based, it's not water based, it's India ink, so it's considered permanent and it's considered light fast, which unlike um, a watercolor, most watercolor um, brush pens and then most well, all alcohol marker pens are not light fast. That means you can display your, your beautiful coloring page up on your fridge with these pit pens that you've colored them with and it's not going to fade in the sunshine. So they're a really unique little tool here. We've got two, one in XS, let me move this over here, and one in the brush nib. So this is what the little tiny brush nib looks like on the pit pens, and this is black. Love that they gave me black. I always need a new good black pen. And then this they're calling XS. Oh my goodness, that oh, wow. nib is like hair thin. <laughs> that, let me give you a little um, comparison. This is one of my favorite pens here. It's by Prismacolor Premier and it's an 08. And its nib looks like that big. So now let's compare to this new one we have. 
Look how teeny tiny that oh, wow. is. Yeah. Crazy. Does so, it say what the number is on it? It's calling it XS.1. Huh. <laughs> Extra small? Yeah, or, that's or, probably. Yeah. So that'll be really good for teeny tiny details, but I won't want to use it on a textured paper or with any kind of pressure. This is a light hand smooth paper tool. <laughs> Very cool. All right, what else have we got in our box? Let's look at the pencils here. This one is a Pitt Graphite Matte Pencil. Never had one of these before. Graphite means it's just going to be like what a standard pencil that we're mostly used to, and it's in 2B hardness, so it's just a good sketching drawing pencil. But it's matte? Does it mean? Matte. Huh. Pitt Graphite Matte. We'll have to swatch this. I wonder if that means it's not as shiny or something as... Well, let's see. This yeah, one right out. here is also 2B, and it's called... Ooh, it's a water-based. So this one is a water-soluble graphite pencil. I love water-soluble graphite. So much fun to play with. You can draw just like normal graphite pencil, or you can smudge it with your finger just like normal, or you can hit it with water, and it will do the coolest things. So I'm excited about having one of their water-soluble pencils. All right. Are you getting bored already, Rose? <laughs> We've got two more, well, we got more products to look at. This one is a gelato. I have a whole bunch of gelatos. This is a water-soluble, um, kind of like an, uh, an oil pastel, only it's water-soluble. So it's a pastel that's creamy like a lipstick, and you can do really cool techniques, make it really thick on the paper or really thin. You can water it down with a little bit of water. It's a really versatile little tool. For a while there, we thought they were going to discontinue them, but um, nope, they're still around, and they are really neat. Gelatos are fun. This one here, I believe, is an Albrecht, an Albrecht Dürer watercolor marker. I think I own like two others of these. And they have two ends. One end is like a nice big beefy bullet nib. And the other end is a brush nib right here. Huh. I'd forgotten that they make a water color <laughs> a water a watercolor marker yeah. is what these are called <laughs> and they have pretty good light fast rating this has got two stars i think the more stars the better in the fabric castell world and and it's the based on the albrecht durer line yes so the colors are probably i think they're in the same, same as, ecosystem wow. so they would match and i've looked at buying these because you know i'm a sucker for anything colorful <laughs> and they're quite pricey so I haven't dove in to buy one so I'm really excited I think the other colors I have are just water are just like blues oh well is that a blue green and red one up there oh yeah so I do have three others so this is a perfect addition look at that perfect addition oh, to fun. my three that I splurged on and that's how I recommend you try new products if there's a new one out there and you're like I really need these Albrecht Dürer watercolor markers buy just a couple of them in your favorite colors the ones you use the most or in a variety that you can mix and and try different things see if you like them and if it's worth the money then you can dive in and order more and just a warning it will kick off your FSS, which is full set syndrome. Yeah. And then you'll have to buy the rest of them. All of them. <laughs> like, yeah, that happens to me all the time. But it's the frugal way to do it is to start by buying just a couple, right? You can end up buying all of them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it makes you feel better when you buy yeah, just, just a couple, couple at the beginning. And you can always use duplicates of these products because if you're like me, you, you kind of feel like, oh, I don't want to wear it out or use it up. If you have two of the same color, then you won't be so worried. Yeah, but we do that a lot. Yeah. This one's in beige red. All right, let's see what else. We've got this little guy here, which has no label on it. I'm assuming it's an eraser. It kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Uh, so we'll have to look and see in when they give us the the what it is. I think that's an eraser. Let's get it out of the because oh yeah, it feels like an eraser. It smells like an eraser. <laughs> okay, we'll learn more about that in a minute. And then we have 
a pencil sharpener. Ooh, is it like a really fine point one oh. for your pencils to get the super, super fine point? I think that's what this is, it is a super fine point pencil sharpener. Okay, then we've got some paper. This is Stonehenge White Legion paper. This studio workhorse provides a supple surface, agreeable to myriad creative dis disciplines. For printmakers, um, it's cotton paper. This is a really nice paper. Let's take a look. This is probably what we'll swatch everything on. Ooh, yeah, that's a really nice paper. Very thick. There's two sheets, that's perfect. We can swatch on one and, and in the future do a piece of art on the other. Another Stonehenge paper, this one's Aqua Cold Press Black. I have looked at this paper at my local Dick Blick store and been like, oh, I want it, but I haven't been able to justify pulling the trigger on it. So this is black watercolor paper, cotton black paper, pencil, pens, markers, inks, that's awesome. I love that. Okay, and then here's some more Stonehenge aqua paper. This is um, some more watercolor paper by Stonehenge. Really cool that we got three different types of paper to try. I'm excited. And look at this little booklet. This is a hefty booklet. Let's see if we can just thumb through it so you can see. And specifically what I would like to find out um, from what they've included here is more about the pencil sharpener. Oh, look at all the different nibs that the pens come in. So many. And we got the X. S. Extra super fine is what we got was this one right here. And then we got the brush nib as well in our box. This is a really nice book. It goes over a lot of products, products that aren't even in here. Here's the Pit Graphite Matte Pencil. It says it's new ultra matte graphite lay down. Graphite tends to have a bit of a shine. And I know a lot of artists don't like that shine because when they try to photograph their drawings, the graphite shine gets in the way. So I'm guessing that's why they've come up with a matte version. Very cool, the water soluble pencils. Look at all the different products that you can try in the Faber-Castell world. Faber-Castell is amazing, yeah. the amount of stuff that That's they a create. place we'd love to travel to someday yeah. on a tour. Okay, here's the accessories. Let's see if it is an eraser and um, what they have to say. No information on the erasers. So we'll just have to see if it is an eraser. Okay, I really am impressed. This is a really good little taste of what Faber-Castell offers. I think that's really cool. If you ever have an opportunity to get a sample pack like this, especially from a company that you really love, I highly recommend it. So let's go ahead and experience these products. I'm going to grab this paper here, the Stonehenge White, and we'll pull this one sheet out. Now this little pack here of paper feels a lot thicker, like, yeah, there's multiple pieces of paper in this watercolor one. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's do some swatching. All right, I'm all done swatching and kind of testing out the products. And I discovered that the Castell 9000, even though the pencil says something about water soluble, it's not water soluble. So um, it's just saying water based. 
So I made a mistake there with the Castell. They do, however, Faber-Castell has a line of water-soluble pencils that I'd like to try sometime because I enjoy them so much. I'll have to check and make sure I don't own them already because it sounds like something I would have bought already. <laughs> okay, and this is a really good little pencil sharpener. Look at that good curl I got off of it. And this is an eraser. I tested it right here on the Castell 9000 pencil. And I wanted to move in the light my two swatches here to so that we can see. Maybe Steve will want to come see this too. This is the Castell 9000 and then this is the matte pencil. And hopefully you can see, let's go up to this light, um, how, yep. Yeah. See how this one up here catches the light? Yeah. Has a ton of shine where this matte pencil oh, doesn't. That's really cool. So they've solved the, sh the shine issue if right. that's a problem you have with your art. Here you can see the Polychromos pencil, the Albrecht Durer, also the watercolor marker. All of these you can hit with water and get a different effect. So I showed you how that worked there too. And by the way, this paper is amazing. <laughs> I haven't had a chance yet to try out all of them. This is the Stonehenge White that I was working on and it's amazing. So I can't wait to try, especially Steve, they gave us black oh, watercolor yeah. paper. Really? So it's not just standard black paper, wow. it's black watercolor paper. It has sizing? Yes. Wow. <laughs> so I'm excited to play around with these products some more, and I'm just really pleased. I feel like I definitely got my money worth. I, I know it was less than 10 bucks for the shipping. Are you serious? Yeah. So, I mean, some of these markers are 3 or $4 a pop, and the pencils are also oh, yeah. a couple I mean, bucks a, a pop. That's a no-brainer, but um, I'm assuming that the... Their goal is to get you to subscribe to their box? No, they don't have a box. This Their goal is to get you to buy their products. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So So you're not like in sub, tied into some subscription or anything? No, I just got to do this. Now, I don't know if this is still an option. I'll have Steve check the website, and if this box is still available, he'll put a link to it so you can get it too. Wow. If not... Um, Faber-Castell, Derwent, um, all these big companies have email lists that you can get on. And when these offers come up, I'm sure that's where we will find them. And I'll be watching for another offer like this because I know I got my money's worth and I have some new products to play with that I'm excited about. So that was a lot of fun. And I highly recommend getting these little kits from these different companies because they have amazing products. And this little booklet alone has a ton of information in it about all their products that will help me in my future videos not to mention tips and tricks on how to use their products yeah, all nice, in here nice too booklet. really cool so thanks Faber Castell we're not sponsored by them at all this was done because I stumbled across it on social media so they got me <laughs> and I'm glad they did <laughs> thanks for watching comment below if you had a chance to get a box like this would you order it and I hope you all have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye!